Okay, so I've got a quick update video on this project and um, it's got a simple fix now. So let's go ahead and get into that. So I've opened up a old project file from one of my previous videos, uh, which no longer works in version 2.93 of Blender. Um, but luckily someone has uh, shown me a good solution. It was provided me by this person. Um, please go ahead and follow uh, their profile on Instagram. Uh, they make some cool stuff uh, and they provided me with a very amazing and simple solution uh, to fix the problem that appeared in version 2.93 of Blender. Now, uh, let's go ahead and start fixing our project real quick. All right, so we are going to start off, first of all, by disabling the um, geometry nodes on our geosphere. So let's go ahead and select it and disable it in the modifier stack there so we can actually work with the uh, original sphere there. And now let's add in a, a new object, specifically a UV sphere. And I'm going to go ahead and scale this down a bit. Doesn't really matter to what size just yet. And now I'm going to select the empty up there and uh, copy the X location and copy it over to the sphere. And I'm going to copy it over to the X, Y, and Z location. And that's done. And now let's scale this back up so it just about touches the uh, geosphere there. So this is fine. Now let's... And then go ahead next and duplicate the sphere again and select all three values by click and dragging over them and just type a minus in front of it so it goes to the opposite side there. Nice, super simple. Now let's delete the uh, original empties and let's select the, one of the spheres and the main empty in the middle and parent them. Now do make sure to test this out so you parent them uh, correctly so the sphere starts moving with the empty. And now let's select both of them and move them into their own collection. I'm going to call this one Empty Sphere 1. Now I want to uh, duplicate the uh, empty there in the middle. Uh, and move it outside of that collection there. Take the other sphere there and select both of them again. Make sure to do it in the right order. I messed it up uh, here. So, uh, so select the uh, sphere first and then the empty second. Uh, Control P to parent. And now both of them should move nicely along our geosphere here. Now I'll also select both of these, put them in their own collection as well. I'm going to call this one Empty Sphere 2. Now with the geosphere selected, let's go over to the Physics tab and add in a dynamic paint. Now this one is going to be a canvas and we'll leave it at that for now. Now let's select one of the UV spheres here, add dynamic paint to that as well. Set the type to brush. And we want to change the paint color to full red. So let's go ahead and change it. Set the source to proximity. Distance of one is fine. And for the waves, let's set it to obstacle. And that's it. Now let's copy this to the other one. So add dynamic paint, change the color to full red. Uh, mesh volume to proximity. And for the waves again, let's set it to obstacle. Now. Let's go back to the uh, geosphere here and with the canvas dynamic paint selected, let's change a few parameters. First of all, uh, let's change the surface type from paint to weight. And let's open up the dissolve menu, enable it and set a time of 60 there. And now we want to uh, add a output here, which doesn't work just yet. So let's go to the uh, object data properties with the geosphere still selected and add a vertex group. I'm going to call this one Vertex and then add a second one, which I'm going to call Vertex 2. Now back in the dynamic paint, let's set the output for the first canvas to Vertex and set the brush collection to Empty Sphere 1. Add in another canvas, set it to Weight again, Empty Sphere 2 for the brush collection, Dissolve set to 60 and the output set to Vertex 2. Now, a very important step is to name uh, caches with unique names. So the first service gets the cache called Vertex and the second service gets the cache called Vertex2. This is a very important step to get it to work properly. So uh, do make sure to do this. Now, let's bake both of these. It will be a pretty quick bake. So Vertex1 is baked and now Vertex2 is baked. And now if we go to uh, weight paint, we can actually see the spheres have evacuated uh, the uh, geosphere there. 
and are generating a uh, weight paint map, which we can now use for the geometry node stuff. So um, let's go ahead and fix that. But before we do that, let's uh, hide the UV sphere. So in the outliner there, I'm just gonna click both the render and viewport icon. So they are gone. And now we can head on over to the geometry nodes tab again. Uh, make sure to move the dynamic paint in the modifier stack above the uh, geometry nodes and let's re-enable the geometry node modifier. Now let's select it in the modifier stack so we can actually use it. And very simple, we can now delete all of these nodes except for the color ramp and the point instance and distribute. Plug these into each other again, like so. And we can actually just delete the bottom three as well. Now let's set the density to 150 and the density uh, attribute we can set to vertex. Now let's change the black and white value and set the black value to 0.45 and the white value all the way to one. Now for the attribute on the color ramp, let's set it to vertex as well. And that should fix one side. And now let's just go ahead and duplicate all three of these nodes and make sure to plug them into the joint geometry and the output. Make sure to change the collection to the other one, like so. And for the density and attribute, let's change it to vertex two. Cool, okay, so now we have uh, something similar again, although the skill is still kind of messed up. Um, however, it still looks pretty cool. So uh, to fix the skill, we're not gonna do that in geometry nodes, but very simply, we are just going to select all of the cubes there on the right side, scale them down, and then hit Control A. And that should effectively fix it. Uh, do decide on a skill which works for you. You can go larger, you can go smaller. Um, it's all up to uh, personal taste, I guess. Um, but I'm gonna go for something pretty small, maybe slightly bigger like so. I kind of like this. All right, so this is uh, all we need to do. Super simple fix, super quick, using dynamic paint and some uh, basic geometry node stuff. Um, I guess it's uh, way easier in 2.93, although you have to use uh, a different uh, method to get the same result. And that's uh, all we need to do to get our project fixed again. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And uh, please also don't forget to uh, visit the Instagram page and uh, give his stuff a like. See you in the next one.